So it's of course a busy period of racing over Christmas and we've treated you at Timeform with some anti-prost previews to go alongside your turkey dinners, your nut roasts. Yeah. Yeah, it's all good. And it's uh, the Welsh National we're going to talk about today and I've got Nick Doggett, our content manager, who was tasked with right in the preview and you've uh, mm. got a couple of tips for us I believe yeah I do I love this race I think any race that has the national anthem anthem sung before it has got to be a good one it's a slog in the mud you want a plodder generally I mean I know last year we had Native River who won it off the same mark as when he won the Hennessy but this is a different race I don't think there's anything of his class in there and actually I think it's a wide open race the, the betting it does suggest that as well but where the bear heads it he won up at the uh, the rehearsal chase up at Newcastle last time, and he just looked beaten going down the back stretch. He was he was really floundering, and it was a great ride by Sean Bowen. Saddle slipped on that day. I'd back the second, and I was hoping that some of the weight had fallen out of the. You know, I, honestly, I was absolutely distraught. Bishop's Road, he hit the front after the last, and I thought he's going to win. And then the camera zoomed out, and you just see Beware the Bear coming, and he's flying. It was his first run of the season, and I think that he'll come on for it. But I think, actually, he'll get too far back. It's a completely different race, much bigger field, and I actually think he's one to take on. Yeah, it's definitely a case, isn't it, in the Welsh National. You don't want to be too far behind mm. in these sort of wars of attrition because you see the amount of horses that definitely get left to drift in those. You do, because they'll go at a strong pace as well. We've got lots of front runners in here, the likes of Mystery, uh, several horses that like to go forward, get on with a race, and I think you do want to be up with the pace, you don't want to be too far back. And actually, I do like Bishop's Road again. I'm mm. tipping him up. I think that he didn't jump particularly well. But if you look at him, his overall profile, he may have been well beaten in this race last year, but he was off a £10 higher mark. Really well handicapped. Loves the ground. And he stays well. So, yeah, he's one of the selections. So, on my tip sheet, tip sheet, cheat sheet here even, uh, I've got the time from top rated. We'll come to him in a moment, but... You mentioned it's a race for Dower Stayers. I mean, we've got loads here. Like, I look at Hublander's Oboe at 33s. Mm. He stays all week, doesn't he? he and, he's, and he's overpriced as well, mm. Nick, definitely, because he was third in the race last year. I was really surprised looking back to find that that was actually his first run in the race. Mm. And you think he's a strong stayer. He likes the mud. And actually, you'd have thought he'd have run in it a few times before because he's getting on a bit. But he ran really well last time. He's already a winner this season. And he's on a £10 lower mark this year. Overpriced, definitely. Uh, others to mention, well, Vicente for a Welsh national, well, a grand national loving connections. That yes, what, is this the same sort of? Certainly, oh, he's won two Scottish grand nationals, mm. and he stays all day. He ran really well at Cheltenham behind Perfect Candidate last mm. time. That was again testing ground, and it, yeah, he's certainly a contender. I worry slightly that he's now high enough in the weights. Okay, um, so we mentioned about the the top rated one. Um, that's Wild West Wind, isn't it? Yeah, it's progressive. There are a couple of horses in there with a sort of similar profile, Rock the Casbah, Wild West Wind. And he, as you say, is top on ratings. He's still got he's got a time form, small P as well, so he's open to more improvement. And, yeah, I, I think that having won well last time out, he's still potentially well handicapped. He only went up, uh, I think, £4 for that. And I, I think that he's one to side with again. He beat Alfie Spinner last time. He's a horse who's proven in similar conditions, so I think that's pretty solid form. Okay, others to mention will chase a spud, rock the Casbah. Am I being a bit harsh to say that rock the Casbah's a slightly tricky ride, or is that...? I didn't have that feeling myself, mm. but, you know, I, I, th I think what you've got in his favour is that he loves Chepstow. Mm. So he's won three times over fences there. He's also finished second in a bumper at the track. And he finished second in the silver trophy, that handicap hurdle as well. Mm. So he's a horse who's, who really does have an affinity for, for the venue. He's up, uh, I think, £6 for his win last time. Doesn't look overly harsh to me. Uh, sorry, he's up £7 for that win last time. I think he's certainly a contender. Uh, we'll, we'll round it up quickly. We'll keep this mm. brief. I um, could, I, I, honestly, I could talk about all these horses. <laughs> this, is, this is my cup of tea. Slow, getting on a bit. Love it. Okay, so um, we'll, we'll wrap things up. You, you've got two selections here. Yeah, I, I'd actually, I'm going to cheat and throw a third one in, which is I, I, it's terrible, I know, taking three against the field, but it's, it's a race where I think you need to. And the other horse is Pobbles Bay. His form from Utoxita and at the track last year worked out really well. He ran over a short trip last time. He looks a stave. He's looked perfect for this race for quite a while. I don't think Evan Williams has won the race before. But I think this is a great chance. He's a young horse. He's progressive, up in trip, and I think he'll stay. He's also got that speed, that tactical speed, that I think will enable him to sort of lay up not too far away from the pace, the strong pace. 
and I, I think he's got a really good chance. So yeah, I know I'm cheating, but I'd go Bishop's Road, Pobbles Bay, and then also, uh, who was the third one? Wild West Wind. I'm trusting the ratings, and I, and I was impressed last time. Or to win, or would you play each way? Oh, uh, no, we'll win, we'll win. I can't have too many we'll each ways like that. We'll win it. <laughs> you can do the TriCast if you like. Okay, if you want some more informed preview, there is, of course... It's about a thousand. Is it a thousand words or? Yeah, it's words? not. You make it sound boring. <laughs> but but it does, and we talk about a lot of the horses. <laughs> uh, you know, as I say, I love this race. So yeah, it's in depth. It's on the website. Go check it out. That's what I meant. An in depth preview over on timeform.com.